Hello, everyone. I just wanted to share a little bit of information about the Thriving Quotient Survey with you. So first, we have our data file, and next we have a Word document that gives examples of the types of questions that were asked of students in the survey. Um, so here are some of the initial questions, and they're grouped under these various themes. If you Google Thriving Quotient, um, you can read a little bit more about the project and uh, some of the, the theories and philosophies that underlie um, Lori Schreiner's concept of thriving. Um, uh, essentially, what Dr. Schreiner suggests is that um, thriving is multidimensional and is comprised of many different aspects of college students' experiences, like their engaged learning, their academic determination, their social connectedness, diverse citizenship, positive perspective, and a few others. We did not ask all of these survey questions um, on the survey that we administered to first-year students several years ago at the University of Minnesota. So for instance, you will see that we do not have any of the spirituality items, nor do we have any of the institutional integrity items. When you look at the thriving survey, if you're on the variable view, you should be able to see all of the items that we asked of students. And you can refer back to the Word document to see how we asked those items of students. So most of the items began, please rate your agreement with each of these items by using a one to six scale with one indicating strongly disagree and six indicating strongly agree. And then these are the various strings that connect to the greater items along with their values on that one to six scale. Um, additionally, we asked a lot of other items of students, like we asked students, how many types of engagement activities have you participated in during the school year, like student orgs, volunteering, campus leadership, and so on. Um, we also administer the Thriving Quotient as a part of our larger Strengths Finder assessment on campus. Uh, back in 2014, we used to administer the Strengths Finder assessment um, to every incoming first year student. So it was about 5,500 students who would each take Gallup's Strengths Finder. Um, and you can also take a minute, if you like, to Google that. Um, yep, the Strengths Finder shows up. Um, Strengths Finder, and you can learn a little bit more about that. There's essentially um, 34 strengths, and, uh, and then we would offer an assessment um, for students so that they, they could learn their top five strengths. We also engaged in a lot of different strengths programming and activities on campus. And so some of our questions included, how many of the types of strengths interactions did you have? With whom did you have interactions regarding strengths? Like lots of different types of folks on campus. Um, where did you um, have some of those interactions like in housing? Um, and then we asked some items related to student strengths awareness. Like if they can name their top five strengths or um, if strengths had value for them um, in their life. And then um, down below, we've got additional um, institutional data, like whether or not students received a Pell Grant, lived on campus, were athletes. Um, we've got a, leather, a few other variables that we've included as well. Um, gender, which in this case is more of a measure of sex because it's just binary. Um, we asked uh, uh, we ca capture those data from institutional admissions records, and I believe it's just, you're mostly going to find just males and females. Um, that's all that we have included here. Um, yep, just a lot of M's and F's. So that's all that we have by and large. Um, so that's essentially just some background information about the Thriving Quotient Survey. Um, and sometimes you'll see some missing variables, like we don't have um, the gender for all of the students, but for most of the students we have it. So just some background information about the Thriving Quotient, just to situate you with the context of the survey. Um, as you begin to take some of the rest of the elements of the course and begin to learn a little bit more about the data set, it'll be really useful um, to, I keep trying to go back to my, there we go. It'll be really useful to think about the context of the survey, what types of questions were asked of students, um, and it is a really rich data set that we can use. Um, some of the other elements of the course, uh, the, the broader, bigger questions of uh, related to initiating quantitative research studies are also going to be relevant, specifically with regards to the Strengths Finder assessment that we administered on campus. 
So um, as we were administering that strengths finder assessment, we developed assessment questions like when students have more strengths interactions, are they more likely to have greater outcomes? So, so those are some things to sort of keep in mind. We would never look at if you have achiever strength, are you more likely to have a higher GPA? So something like that um, would not be an appropriate question with the strengths finder and it would not be included um, in the data. So as you think about designing studies related to strengths, it's more important to think about how often do students interact with strengths? With whom do they interact with strengths? Where do they interact with strengths? Um, what's their strengths awareness? As opposed to, um, you know, if they have, uh, you know, X, Y, Z strengths, do they have better outcomes? So that's not really how we think about research related to strengths. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about the data set, um, but I hope that helps to kind of get you situated with the survey and the items that we asked and why we have all these strengths items in the survey as well. Thanks so much.